It's time to get on ready. My first step is removing my makeup. I actually use two things to remove my makeup. I have very sensitive skin, so I actually use these two products. The first one is from the Organic Pharmacy and is a rose and chamomile cleansing milk. And the second one is just a, a normal uh, waterproof eye makeup remover from Sephora. So let's do it. And make sure you shake it a lot. I just like dab first. I really love this product because it really just takes out everything. Now I'm using the Organic Pharmacy, the Rose and Chamomile Cleansing Milk. This one is great even if you're not wearing any makeup, to just do it at night. I like to use a pad because it's more gentle, towels are a bit rough. I do believe the less is more and just keep it clean. Now it's shower time. I always love showering at night because I hate going to bed dirty. And usually if I've been working, I have product in my hair because it just goes to the pillow and then it goes in your skin and then you start working out. So I always like to go to bed clean. I'm gonna use today the Moroccan oil, the shampoo and conditioning. You guys stay here while I go shower. So I'm all washed and clean and I'm gonna take you guys through my little beauty routine to go to bed. So first of all, I'm gonna brush my teeth. No fluoride, no SLS uh, toothpaste. I've been using this for a while. I eventually will go back to fluoride, but I'm gonna try to keep off SLS because it's bad for you. Always very glamorous. <laughs> I've been traveling a lot, so my skin feels very dry and dull, so I'm gonna use this 111 Skin Rose Gold Brightening Facial Mask. Just kinda makes you look alive again. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it for 20 minutes, around that. All right guys, it's been 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna remove it. I like to sometimes just get the excess in my hands. Get it everywhere. You don't want to waste any of it. <laughs> you just feel a different person. Next, I'm going to use a toner gel. This one is also from the, far the organic pharmacy and is a Rose and Bilbert toning gel to hydrate and soothe, especially for delicate and sensitive skin. Just put it all over the skin because I'm going to go to sleep. I'm actually going to mix to my favorite products. My moisturizer that I use, it's from Aven and it's Sika Fat Repair Cream. And I like to put a drop of pure argan oil from Moroccan oil uh, with my uh, moisturizer, you know, just to restore the oil back in the skin. Your skin the next morning just looks alive and, and glowy and I love some glow. So for the body, I'm going to use the Moroccan Oil Night Body Serum. It's, you know, it seems so important to hydrate your whole skin and especially in your body, oils are so important. You almost only need like two pumps for the whole body. It's so rich. Your skin just absorbs it and you look so healthy and soft and rejuvenated and you literally put it everywhere. I have very dry legs, so this really, it's really, really fantastic. My next step is my hair. It dried a little bit, so it's not like dripping anymore. I love going to bed with my hair wet because I wake up with it the next day with like really soft waves and my hair is not frizzy. Before I go to bed, I always put a little bit of Moroccan oil treatment on my ends, just so they get to rest during the night and get all the nutrients so in the morning when the hair dries, it's so shiny and healthy. What I love about the Moroccan oil treatment is that you can put it in wet hair, dry hair, style hair, and it always gives you the same effect. Last but not least, because my hands has been washed and dried and washed and dried, I'll put a little bit of Moroccan oil hand cream. And this is it. This is what I do every night before I go to bed. And I hope you guys liked it. Now, good night.